Hello YouTube, welcome one all, and welcome to me probably getting absolutely steamrolled soon by Trajan. Cause he... Uh, maybe not. I'm desperately trying to get to... Ваши люди жаждут познания и красоты. Но вы гнушаетесь наукой и искусством. От чего же? Irrigation may have to just hard research that, which I probably may do next after I've got my shipbuilding. My quadrimarines can actually go and do stuff. There's no point in me building any builders. Because that's going to be a, that's that that's going to be a not a camp it's a thingy camp. So you're getting Paris <laughs> by by religion by but not by religion by uh, culture. Oh god, another one. Yeah, Rome's gonna be. Choose production. Oracle hasn't been built. Just wanna put that one out there. Get me the library. Fifteen, okay. Rome has horsemen, hot and chariots. Hong Kong has been defeated. Oh, you you've joined China. I'm gonna go to six population, which is good. Take 41 turns to complete that. Which means I think what I need to do is build the lighthouse. Build the lighthouse, then we can get another. buy another trader. So we're gonna just save money. Madrid has a little bit of population, a little bit of production now. That's 30 gold. That is 30 gold. It may not it may not be much, but it's better than six. Rome's about to finish oh god, the culture pressure from this city is going to be horrendous. Especially since there's quite a few wonders. This all, again, stems from the fact that I spawn next to two civilizations and I'm boxed in instantly. It means I can't expand, I can't get cities. I mean, do I really want to go here? Do I really want a city here? See, if I hadn't tracked a settler all the way around here, it wouldn't be till this is done that I'd actually be able to send a settler there. I would have had to one see this, and with the culture thing at the moment, I don't think that's possible. Not with, not when you know someone else's capital's literally five tiles away. Six. I was one off. <laughs> Needed a bigger map. Needed to make it a bigger map. That's what I should have done. But then again, it wasn't a true start, and I wanted to try the true start. No, this map is a little small. I'm sure. 
sure there's a true start map with a giant, gigantic true start map of like 20. Oh great, you've got wars. Well, I wasn't going to go to war with you anyway. Oh, Peter's been targeted by emergency. Spawn somewhere. You gave me the lighthouse. Oh, yeah, the is going to be done in time. That's fine. Uh. But we're finally going to get our new government. Um. Politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. Okay, so let's see. Autocracy gives us to all the yields for each government building and palace in a city. Plus 10 per production per rewards. But 50. I think Classical Republic. Because uh, now we can... I haven't got much of a... No, we need to swap to that later on. Um, put two for more... Trade routes, probably. There go. Forty-one to fifty-two. We need eleven more points. Games and recreation, drama and poetry. House, there it is. You're still growing though, which is good. Rome has its legions. I suppose it's accurate to the fact that I'm still, you know, running around with spearmen and just warriors. Um, and Rome has their legions, which are probably going to go off on a massive conquest. I need walls. I need everything. I need military units, I need walls, I need all the things. We're going to get shipbuilding though, which means you can go get that goody hood. Please let it be tech boosts. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause it. Uh, iron working would give us... Uh, I did say irrigation, didn't I? That is a lot of ass army. Yep, John Curtin finished building that. When you also, if you wanted to... Your people are waiting for knowledge and beauty. Yeah, we've, we've talked about this. But you're ignoring science and science. What do you mean? Once I'm able to colonize the Americas, we'll be good. But until then, I'm kind of stuck. Oh, we gotta work. I suppose we're making now. Now we're doing producing faith, I suppose. All the religions being founded. All the religions being founded. Um. Yeah, I need the money. Hmm. Go.
Complete tourism. Not that that one matters at the moment. Ah, uh, you've settled. That's fine. I don't mind Saladin settling because he's in a rougher spot than I am, really. do need to start thinking about possible military units. Although, this is going to, well, if I get walls. I suppose I could even buy a builder to mitigate the wine. Hi, Roman horseman. I know we gave each other, um, what are you doing? Thousands have lived without love. Probably 157 turns it'll do. It'll take. Well, we're not getting that, so. Let's see if we can buy a builder. We need to get the irrigation up and running. There we go. Lovely. If we're making enough, I think we'll be able to afford... Uh, maybe not, actually. That's an invasion. Don't care what anyone says, but that is an invasion. So much so that, hey, Trajan. Uh, I'm trying to see if you've got any. You have wine, which is a bit unfortunate. You can send an envoy, though. But hey. There's no point in you giving me open borders, so let's oh. see. <sighs> eh, five gold is five gold, I suppose. Uh, head over there. Alia Yakta Est. I haven't even been able to research walls. Oh, uh, there's masonry, I suppose. Yeah, but again, I didn't get the boost for it because I wasn't near a quarry and I wasn't gonna. 
Oh well. Be nice knowing you, everyone. Game, stop! Please stop spawning me next to next to nations, right next to. Them. Is, it, is this because I won on? Because you spawned me next to nobody? Is it because you spawned me right next to nobody? In the last few times, so to make up for it, you. Suicide into that. I'm trying to think what I could have done differently. I think we've lost the capital. Sorry if I've gotten a little bit quiet, but I'm trying to rack my brain about what I could have done differently. From the dust to which our civilization first rose. I mean, I was boxed in by France and... And Rome, which means I can't expand. Ah, uh, this is why I hate random. Why I hate it sometimes. RNG just hates me. Purely hates me. Because I get nothing from RNG. You, you throw a dice, I'll get ones all day. Ugh. Oh, by the way, Civ 6 is available in the Nintendo Switch, by the way, just in case you didn't know. 
Um, which I'm kind of tempted because I I've just gotten one. Um, Civ on the go. I will not be playing Civ Six on the, my Switch on day 18. Good. My God, they're sometimes infuriating. But I'm like, <sighs> so let's 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 try and like think about this. I spawn a Spain. I settle on the coast to get the boost. I have no quarries, so there's no boosting to that um, for masonry. Um, so I focus on getting the, the the tech boost that I can, and doing those in the hope that. I You know, I should have just re-rolled. I should have literally just quit out as soon as I realized I was next to France and Rome. Because you can't... Because of the... Um, loyalty. You can't expand... Re I, you can't really expand... Beyond a, a, another civilization. Because then you just get wrecked on loyalty. I should have just beelined. But no, it, was, it would have taken too many turns. I would have been so far behind on the tech. I mean, I was so far behind on certain techs anyway. So that wouldn't have changed it. I think at the moment, with my skill set at this game, I think I was lost the moment up from turn one, which sucks. Unless there's something I'm missing, which it probably is. I'm probably missing something massive, but I'm like, yes, I didn't build military units, which is why Rome did what he did. But again, it'd be like, well, if I didn't build military units, I wouldn't have been building builders. I wouldn't have been building my science. I wouldn't have been building my, my harbor, which I needed. Yeah, there's probably a lot of other things I could have done better there, but I think I was on a real. I, it was going to be on a hiding topic, and again, it's because I can't, couldn't expand. Even worse than the last one. It's like, yeah, you're gonna have Spain, and you're gonna be stuck in Spain with one city. Yeah, I think I needed the map needed to be bigger, or not to spawn next to goddamn Rome and France. Because if it was just Rome, I might have been able to rush out a settler and settle in, in Northern Europe. And then into England. But, anyway, that is it for this video. Um, I am going to have to go back to the drawing board. Either that or not play that, that, that mode. Because that map was small. There was a... There, I'd have to look out really really well for me to you know I basically I sh could have been let's see create game let's have a look if I'd been him maybe Gandhi Hojo, no, that Japan was tiny. There's no way I would have been able to expand quick enough. Um, yeah, Montezuma. If I had been Montezuma in that, I would have had the entirety of the Americas. The entirety. All both North and South and Central. Just, you know, just bashing barbarians and just expanding like hell. Well, uh, Loratu as well. Poundmaker. Oh, by the way, I just got a mod. Uh, it's the Normans, which is Rollo and William the Conqueror. Um, yeah, if I mean Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, the one time. 
if I picked Teddy Roosevelt with those those civilizations, I probably would have just grown to such a huge size by the time they did find me. Because they'd be all fighting each other. They will, will... So... Oh, well. Yeah, that's the newest mod, new mod I've been downloaded. But anyway. Ah, uh, gutting. But... Needless to say, we will, I will be back at this. I will learn. I will get better. And I will eventually beat Deity. Somehow. Until then, everyone. Toodles.